Good afternoon. Every tech startup needs three types of people. The tech guy, the rich guy, and the guy who knows people. I'm not techy. I was a business major. And unfortunately, I'm not rich. So I think you can now guess which one I am. When I first started this, to work on this startup, I was 24. I graduated from university just one year ago. At that time, I knew nothing about the healthcare market. I didn't have any connection. The only knowledge I had on robotics are those I learned from movies. Fast forward to four years later, we're now a team of 15 with products in over 100 healthcare facilities in Hong Kong and overseas. Here's one of the most important lessons I learned over this year. Like every other startups, we started from our own experience, some desktop research, and came up with an idea of what kind of products that we want to start with. We, started to, we wanted to help stroke patients to improve their quality of living. We wanted to build wearable robotic devices, exoskeleton products, Iron Man-like technology. Very cool, right? It was an exciting idea. So we went on doing more and more research, and then we started building. It was a lot of brainstorming, a lot of drawings, 3D printing, sourcing and testing of different motors, different parts. It was fun. That kept us busy for months. We, we boys do love our toys, right? And then one day, suddenly, I, I realized, um, wait, what if we were wrong? What if there's no market for the products one built? What if, where is, what, what if no one wants to buy our product, right? We might go bankrupt and waste a lot of time. So I knew that we must start reaching out to verify our assumptions before investing too much time and money. Um, very quickly, we put together a prototype, I hit the pause, uh, and then we went on knocking on doors of our potential customers. Very lucky enough, we met with a physiotherapist in the trade show, and then we managed to set up a meeting with his team. Despite our very, very rough product, our very rough, it's not a product, it's a prototype. It's a chunk of metals strapped together, some lights and a switch on, batteries on, every cables are, are, are everywhere. So we show them what we had on hand, and then uh, we tell them what we're trying to build. Um, one of the physiotherapists uh, had to go with our prototype. He put it on the robotic globe, and then he uh, we switch on. He tried to do a few things with the prototype that he had on hand. A few minutes later, he took it off. He was not impressed, not at all. It was too heavy. It was too clumsy. He told us that it was too many cables. It's scary. Patients wouldn't use it, and they wouldn't use it. And it was not easy to operate, after all. They didn't even ask us how much we wanted to sell our product for. Obviously, we, we couldn't close our first customer. But, but, we know what, what was wrong. And we know how to improve it. We need more feedback. So I went on knocking more on more doors, uh, asking for more referrals, and uh, setting up more product demos with different organizations and therapists. Uh, knowing that we were far from making any sales at that point, I, I had no pressure, right? I could focus on listening. Uh, I went there, showed them what we had, and then I started listening to what they really want. Listening to what my customers really care about. I saw every one of those meetings, those opportunities for me to learn from my potential customers and also, more importantly, make friends with them. I saw them as a chance for me to observe their working environments and understand what their needs are. From there, we improved our design. We, we did countless rounds of iterations, uh, product demos, uh, rounds and rounds of different meetings as well. I, I didn't know how to draw electronic circuits but I can listen. I know how to listen to them. 
during those times, it was uh, the customer feedbacks that I care most. Um, I didn't even think of selling anything in those meetings. I was there to observe. Um, the only thing that I want to know at that time is how can I help? How can I help to make their lives easier? Until at some point, um, we, we started getting questions like, how much are you selling your product for? How, when can I get a unit of that? And I was like, oh, that, was even, that wasn't even a product, but someone's wanting to buy it. So that was my aha moment. I know that we are onto something. So uh, I know that we can move on to the next stage. Um, finally, we, we finally launched our first official model in November 2018 during a conference. I can still remember that day when um, we were showcasing our products to the public. Um, there was a couple who were in their 60s, I believe. Uh, they came to our booth. Um, the wife was in the wheelchair. Uh, her husband pushed her over. Uh, she got a stroke not long ago. Um, I helped her put on the robotic globe on her left hand. Uh, her fingers started moving. She looked up to me, uh, had a smile on her face. She turned around, and then she said to her husband, I want to buy one. That smile, that smile was something that I would, I could, I would never forget. It's the most beautiful smile I've ever seen. Our first order finally came in almost 13 months later. It was a painful year of waiting, pitching, um, but because of the customer feedback loop that we had before, we know that we were on the right track. Uh, by now, the actual product that we're selling is not 100% what we envisioned uh, four years ago, but it is definitely something that our customers truly want. Until this day, I always tell my team and my engineers, it doesn't matter how perfect you think our work is. The only opinion that really matters is the one from the customers. Looking back now, I, I realized that I, I, it was not only the customer feedback that I got from those encounters, those meetings with them. Um, what mattered more is the relationship which I built with them all the time. They saw that we are listening to their needs and we're trying to do something to make their lives easier. We're there to help. So here's my one advice for those of you, if you ever want to start a business, start reaching out today. Schedule a meeting with a potential customer of yours next week, and then start making friends with them. Show them what you got on hand, whatever you have, be it your prototype, your idea, even your pencil sketch. Show them, talk to them, and get them start to talk to you. It is very, very unlikely that you can get them to open their wallet in the very first go, but I'm sure um, you will get real opinions that matters from there. Go from there. 